Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. France and Germany are considering a new initiative to enhance their collaboration in the field of long-range strikes. This proposal comes amid ongoing efforts to bolster European defense capabilities and address recent criticisms regarding the effectiveness of Franco-German partnerships in this sector. Despite the challenges, both nations are committed to advancing their defense cooperation, aiming to fortify European security and strategic autonomy. The proposed collaboration follows a decade of fluctuating Franco-German defense relations. In a recent report titled, The Defense Industry, Provider of Strategic Autonomy in Europe, two French deputies criticized France's over-reliance on cooperation with Germany. They argued for diversifying partnerships with other European countries, such as Sweden and Poland, to enhance strategic autonomy. This criticism is rooted in the mixed outcomes of major defense programs initiated by President Emmanuel Macron and Chancellor Angela Merkel in 2017. Notably, three of the five key projects have been abandoned or suspended. The Future Maritime Patrol Aircraft Program, MAWS, was effectively scrapped after Germany opted to acquire five P-8A Poseidons from Boeing. Additionally, Germany withdrew from the Tiger Helicopter Modernization Program to Standard 3, and the Future Artillery Program, Common Indirect Fire System, CIFS, has been postponed indefinitely, with realization not expected before 2045. Despite these setbacks, French and German industries continue to work together on European Commission-funded projects. Noteworthy initiatives include FIRES, Future Indirect Fires European Solutions, and eColors, European Common Long-Range Indirect Fire Support System, which aim to develop a European solution for a new multiple launch rocket system. In parallel, both nations are independently pursuing initiatives to renew their ground-based deep strike capabilities. The French Directorate General of Armament, DGA, has launched an innovation partnership to develop a long-range strike capability, aiming to acquire at least 13 systems by 2030. This project sees collaborations between Safran and MBDA, as well as Thales and Ariane Group, targeting strikes on targets located between 150 and 500 kilometers away. Germany, according to Bundestag documents, plans to order Europuls systems from KNDS Germany, formerly Krauss Maffei Wegmann, and Elbit Systems. Additionally, MBDA Deutschland has developed the Joint Fire Support Missile, JFSM, which boasts a range of over 300 kilometers and network capability. The recent Franco-German Defense and Security Council, marking President Macron's state visit to Germany, underscored the commitment to strengthening European and Euro-Atlantic security through credible defense capabilities. The joint declaration emphasized continued contributions to the development of the European defense industry, addressing strategic gaps, and reducing technological and industrial dependencies. France and Germany announced their intention to launch a comprehensive and inclusive long-term cooperation in the field of long-range strikes. This initiative aims to reinforce the European industrial and defense base, thereby enhancing military capabilities. While Defense Minister Sebastian Lecornu provided limited details, his German counterpart, Boris Pistorius, indicated that Germany had received a mandate to advance long-range strike missile development. In their discussions, France and Germany reaffirmed the critical role of nuclear deterrence in ensuring the security of Europe and NATO. The French independent strategic nuclear forces were highlighted as a significant contribution to the alliance's overall security. Furthermore, there are plans to integrate the Franco-German brigade into NATO's operational framework, further solidifying the alliance. The enhanced collaboration between France and Germany in long-range strikes represents a significant step forward in European defense. While historical challenges have tempered expectations, the renewed commitment to joint development and strategic autonomy highlights a forward-looking approach. This initiative not only aims to bolster military capabilities but also to ensure a more resilient and autonomous European defense industry, capable of addressing future security challenges. That's all for now. See you later.